In this video, we're going to be taking a deeper look at the subject of CV when it comes to voltage modular. CV stands for control voltage, and the operative word here being control, because we can use this to control just about anything from pitch to modulation. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some cool uses of CV to create some more interesting sounds, and we're going to start things off by creating just a general subtractive synth patch and then using CV to make it a lot more interesting. It's not entirely possible for me to demonstrate every single thing you can do with CV, but hopefully this video gives you some ideas and some inspiration to start patching things together and getting creative. So let's begin by building a basic subtractive synth patch. We've all probably done this a million times. We're going to need an amplifier. We'll need two envelope generators so we can bring in one and hold alt and drag to create another. We're going to need a filter. We'll move this envelope next to that. Then we're just going to need an oscillator. So this is kind of the basic building blocks for a lot of really cool sounds, believe it or not. To line things up a bit better, let's right click in our cabinet here and go to align modules and left and start patching this guy together. So from our CV outs, we're going to send the pitch to the oscillator. Let's send the oscillator as a saw wave to the amplifier. We'll get the gate and send this to both of our envelope generators here. We'll send the envelope out of the first envelope generator to the CV in of the amplifier, the amplifier output to the audio input of the filter, the envelope out of the second envelope generator to the frequency mod one of the filter, and we'll take the low pass out. So if I play this right now, we'll have just a basic saw wave synth. And we can use our filter cutoff to change that. To add some modulation to the filter, we can up the mod amount and change our envelope. Let's make a nice kind of plucky attack sound here on the envelope. And like I said, this is a pretty basic patch that actually has a lot of power under the hood once you start implementing CV. A classic use of CV might be something like adding an LFO to the filter instead of this envelope generator. So let's try that out. Let's bring in a mini LFO and get rid of this envelope here. Let's send the triangle wave to the frequency mod amount and slow this down. So if we play this now, we have kind of a basic wobble synth, but a really cool idea is to think of LFO as what it stands for, low frequency oscillator. So we can actually break this idea out and get a lot more interesting with it. Just to make a bit more room, let's move our filter over here and delete this envelope and LFO, and let's bring in another oscillator. One of the cool things about the oscillator in voltage modular is you can set it to low mode, so this actually becomes an LFO with a bunch of different shapes. That being said, if we take the triangle output here and bring this to the filter, we'll have pretty much the same sound we just had. But since we have a variety of different shapes, we can get a lot more interesting kind of shapes and colors out of this filter modulation because we're doing filter FM. If we switch this here over to the ramp down wave, we'll get a nice clicky attack, much like we had with the envelope generator. But one of the cool things is that since this is an oscillator, we can start to get into very low frequencies or very high frequencies. We can also bring this up into the audio range by setting it to the range here. Let's set this back to zero and bring in some pitch here to this oscillator. Now, this will actually play the note I'm playing and use that to FM the filter. Which can give a really cool sound. Another great way to utilize this trick would be to drop this an octave down from the primary oscillator. Now we get a nice, really growly, throaty, aggressive sound. Now, let's take this whole idea up a notch by modulating our modulators. Let's get rid of the keyboard CV in here of the oscillator. We'll hold Alt and duplicate this out. Now let's take the ramp down wave into the frequency mod input of this oscillator. We'll switch both of these to low, and then we can really start to get some cool sounds. What we're going to use is a ramp down wave to affect the pitch of the oscillator that's then affecting the cutoff of the filter. This might not make a whole lot of sense right now, but once you hear it, you'll hear right away what we're doing, and it's pretty cool. To begin, we've got both of these oscillators on low, and I have the ramp down wave going into the frequency mod of this oscillator. This oscillator has another ramp down wave that goes into the frequency mod of the filter. Let's crank up the mod amount so it's a bit more apparent. Right now, if we play this, we just have a steady rate of ramp waves. Now let's bring in some frequency mod from this first oscillator. And you'll hear exactly what's happening. It's going up in pitch, therefore it's faster, and then it's going down in pitch so we get more stepping. Thank you. 
And I think this has the real power of CV and is something to really think about when you're creating modular patches, is what can you use to add modulation and make things change? So I think this is a really cool thing to understand is that CV can come from just about any source. It could be an oscillator, it could be a filter, it could be a delay, it could be a delayed signal from the filter. So with that as an example, let's take a delay here, which you might think we can use this to add a delay effect, which is certainly the case, but we can also use this to have a delayed signal come back as CV. So let's grab another output of this low pass into the input of the delay here. We'll set this to be entirely wet and maybe add some feedback and adjust the time to something like that. We'll grab the output and then let's bring this into the frequency mod of our initial oscillator. And we can get some really weird spacey sounds and then we could also run the output of this delay into the main output so we can hear what's being fed into that oscillator. And if we take this down to a really low note we can get some kind of cool spooky sci-fi effects. that really kind of jiggles your brain in a weird way. So I hope you found this video helpful to better understand some ideas and maybe get inspired a bit with CV when it comes to voltage modular, because like I said, any of these jacks can be sent into just about anything else to create something entirely new and unique and wild, and that's really a lot of the fun in modular synthesis. Unlike traditional synthesizers, you're really not restricted in how you can approach doing something, and every time you put together a new modular patch, you're building a whole new instrument that can do whatever you want, because just about any of these jacks can go into just about any other jack and do whatever you want, and that's a really, really cool idea. So I think that wraps it up for this video. For more information on Voltage Modular or to pick up a copy for yourself, you can head over to cherryaudio.com.